What's going on? Sorry my hair's wet. I just got out of the shower. Anyway, so before we were talking about using H, J, K, and L and stuff like that in order to move around, we're going to make it even faster now. But before we move into that, I just want to say, please, please don't move ahead with this until you have fully gotten and internalized the concepts from the last ones. If you watch all these videos in quick succession, you'll just forget it, really, no matter how good you think you are. Sorry, you're not that awesome. But uh, really, take some time between each episode and internalize it. Like, practice the stuff and make it to where your fingers can do it without you even really having to think about it, okay? Because it'll help you immensely, immensely. Anyway, on to the show, huh? All right, so we're over here in Terminal Town once again, and we're going to go into Vim along with an example file that I've made here. All right, so before we talked about using H, J, K, and L to move around faster, right? L, 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 H, 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 J, J, K, K to move around. That's all well and good. It's great. However, there are better ways to move around, right? Say, for instance, we want to go to the start of the next word, right? We're on the word there. We want to move to the word once. We could hit L a bunch of times, but that's not really that great, huh? We can instead hit the word W, right? W goes to the beginning of the next word. So if we hit W here, we see we, boom, bend, bounce over to the word once. If we hit it again, it goes to was a sailor named Shu. Poor guy being named Shu, by the way. That sucks. So we can also go back to the previous word by pressing the word B, right? B for back. W for word to go to the next word. B to go back to the previous word. So B, 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 B. You see, it jumps around like that all through the word. You can also go to the end of the, of the current word that you're inside of by pressing E. You see, E for end, B for back, W for the next word. Huh? Not too bad. This also works inside of visual mode along with normal mode, right? So if we enter visual mode, press V, you see it says visual down at the bottom to know that we're there. Uh, we can hit W to go to the next one, WWW or BB or E, E, whatever you want. So let's escape to get out. One small caveat, however, let's say for instance that we are over here inside parenthetical uh, with thetical being in parentheses, huh? One, well, okay, if we hit W, you would expect that, well, it goes to the start of the next word, right? It should go to hyphenate. it. Let's see it. W. <sighs> How disappointing. It doesn't go where we want it to. That's because Vim actually treats these special characters as being their own words, kind of. So if you hit W again, for instance, you see it goes to the beginning of thetical, then to uh, that other parentheses. We hit W again, it goes there. The way we can overcome this and instead uh, bounce over these and go straight to the next word that's separated by space is by making those commands capitalized, right? So we can hit shift, shift W, shift W, shift W to, uh, to go forward all the way like that and go all the way to hyphenated, it skips over all those characters. B works the same way, right? Capital B, uh, I just hit lowercase b here to go back. If we hit capital B again, it bounces all over those special characters. E works the same way, capital E does that. So now you're even better, you're even faster, and you're on your way to being great.